Well, emails I can't send marks your fifth studio album. Does the anticipation, does does the feeling you get when something is released, does it change over time? Like, how was it this this go around for you? I had quite a transition in the last two and a half years. Uh, you know, I, I signed with a new label, and I think also I was just kind of coming into my own as a person. And so I think for me, it was just really important that this album really was reflective of like, I hate to talk about myself in third person, but Sabrina, like, it just didn't feel like anything but but myself. Well, we're at track seven now. That's my lucky number. It's called How Many Things. Were you really intentional with putting this song as number seven? Not specifically number seven because it's my lucky number, but I was intentional with where this song sat on the record because um, this song is a very, very, very special song to me. It's, it's definitely the most stripped back, just very forward, like raw song on the album and i was really scared to to put this song out because i i think it's a, a feeling that i maybe hadn't confronted before this song was there a song that you were hesitant to put on the album but you're really glad you did nonsense it's kind of the one song that sort of says like screw it like i can also like even though i'm going through some situations i can also like kind of be excited about someone and, and feel like I'm, you know, into someone for the first time. And some days are amazing and fun and happy and, you know, you feel really good about yourself and other days you feel the lowest you've ever felt. So nonsense to me, I was like, oh, I just wonder if it kind of discredits the rest of the album by how like upbeat it is and how fun it is and how careless it is. But now I, I feel like it's part of it. So I'm really happy that I that I added it. What can you tell me about the making of nonsense? Genuinely just could not stop writing fake versions of the chorus what do you mean fake version basically we were like we know the song's nonsense like we know the chorus so like we took a few of those like lyrics that we loved that we just were dying over and we put them in the outro of the song and it's cool that that kind of song was able to make it on the record because i really think it also just shows my stupid sense of humor